So we're going to use our linear algebra skills and balance a chemical equation. So you want to start by creating a template vector. So you want to look at the elements in your equation and just list out the elements in your vector. You can just do it in any order, it doesn't matter, but you just want to be consistent throughout um, your problem. So we're going to put carbon first, hydrogen second, oxygen third. Those are all the elements in this equation. So I'll just, that's how I'm going to list them. Carbon first, hydrogen second, oxygen third. And what we want to know are how much or how many of each of these uh, molecules we need to balance the elements on each side. So we need coefficients to go in front of these. And we'll just call those x1, x2, x3, x4. And we're going to create a vector for each of these molecules and we'll set them equal. So for the first molecule, I'm going to multiply it by x1. That's going to be how many molecules I need. And I have seven carbon atoms. I have 16 hydrogen atoms. And I have zero oxygen in the first molecule. And for the second one, I'll have coefficient x2. I have two oxygens, and that's it. So I'll just put zero, zero, two equals x3. Uh, for x3, I have carbon dioxide here. So that's one carbon, no hydrogens, and two oxygens. And for x4, um, no carbons, two hydrogens, and one oxygen for water. So this is a vector equation and all we need to do is, you know, move everything on the right to the left. That's going to change the signs. We'll set it equal to zero and we'll solve for these coefficients. So I'll just rewrite this with everything on the left. And I'm going to multiply the negative inside these vectors that I'm moving. I'm just moving them to the left side of the equation. And this would be equal to the zero vector once we move those over. Right, so this is just a homogeneous linear system. I can put that into a matrix and solve it. And if you row reduce this, I used a calculator, we get this. So by column, I get 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. In the last column, I get negative 1 8, negative 11 8, negative 7 8. So the variables here are those coefficients of the molecules, you know, how many of each molecule we need. So we have a free variable in X4, meaning we could plug in anything we would like for X4, and that'll determine the rest of the system. So let's Let's just write the solutions down. You know, x1 would be 1 8 x4, x2 is 11 8 x4, x3 is 7 8 x4. x4 is free, so we'll just let it be itself. And uh, to get rid of these fractions, we could let x4 be 8. And then uh, 
these others would become 1, 11, 7, and 8. So those are the coefficients of the molecules. So let's, let's write out the equation. Uh, X1 is 1, so I need 1 of the first molecule. I need 11 of the uh, O2 oxygen. And let's draw an arrow for the chemical reaction. And we get carbon dioxide and water. I need seven carbon dioxides and I need eight waters, H2Os. So we could do a quick check here and, and make sure all the atoms are accounted for. I have seven carbons here. I've got seven carbons on the right side. I have 16 hydrogens. On the right side, uh, the eight waters make 16 hydrogens, right? There's two hydrogen atoms in this water molecule. And then I have uh, 11 times two, I have 22 oxygens. Uh, here I've got uh, 14 oxygens and eight more. That makes 22. So everything checks out. That is, um, you know, the simplest solution with a, uh, with whole number uh, coefficients. All right, so let's do another example. Uh, so I need to write my template vector. Uh, so I'm just going to write down the elements as I see them. So I've got two, or well, let's just say I've got aluminum, carbon, oxygen, hydrogen, and P is phosphorus. And then I'm going to write an equation using vectors for each molecule. So I need coefficients to represent how many of the molecules I need. And I've got on the first um, molecule, I've got two aluminums. Uh, I've got three of these. So I've got three carbons, nine oxygens, no hydrogen, no uh, phosphorus. X2, uh, I've got no aluminum, no carbon, four oxygens. I've got three hydrogens and one phosphorus equals, uh, for the third um, molecule, I've got one aluminum, no carbon, four oxygens, no hydrogens, and one phosphorus. And then for carbon dioxide, no aluminum, one carbon, two oxygens, no hydrogen or phosphorus. And then the last one's water again. Uh, no aluminum, no carbon, one oxygen, two hydrogens, and no phosphorus. So we're going to do the same thing we did on the last one. We're going to move all this stuff to the left side. I'm going to change the signs and set it equal to zero, and then we'll solve it. So got X1 X2 And for X3, I'm going to change the sign. I'm going to multiply the negative inside the vector. Again, with X4 and X5, multiply negative inside the vectors. And that's equal to zero. So I'll set up a system in an augmented matrix.
and then it will be augmented with the zero vector. And I did this in a calculator. And it row reduces to this matrix. One, zero, 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 zero. Zero, one, zero, zero, zero. Zero, zero, one, zero, zero. Zero, 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 zero one, zero. And then the fifth column is negative one third, negative two thirds, negative two thirds, negative one, and zero. And then the column of zeros on the right does not change. So again, we have these coefficients x1 through x5 x5 is free. So if I write my solutions, uh, x1 is one third x5. x2 is two thirds x5. x3 is also two thirds x5. x4 is equal to x5 and x5 is equal to itself because it's free. And to get rid of fractions, let's let x5 be three means x4 is 3, x3 is 2, x2 is 2, and x1 will be 1. So 1, 2, 2, 3, 3. So I can, uh, let's write it right here. If I balance the equation, I've got 1 of the first molecule. two of the second molecule, and then equals two of the third molecule, three carbon dioxides, and three waters. I don't have room here, let me erase. So that would be uh, your balanced equation.